So, Retaliation Missions. This game's version of Terror Missions. Now, admittedly, they're actually... When you start off, they're not as bad. They have a hell of a time limit because you need to rescue about 50% of the civilians. And the aliens will kill one once every turn. Like, they'll reliably kill one per turn, which means that you've got three or four turns to get stuck in there and prevent them from shooting them up. But there's a couple other surprises. Now, the good news is, unlike in the original XCOM, you don't immediately start off with chrysalids. Because terror missions crop up, like, after the first two, three months in the game. And by that time, you've got a decent amount of gear. These crop up quite a bit earlier in XCOM 2, so no chrysalids, which is good news. But what they do have is... Well, if you don't know anything about these things, you're going to learn quite quickly. That's where Ranger comes in fucking fantastic, because no one's concealed except for Constance, so she can scout ahead and where the fuck are we even going I don't want to drop down that way I get the feeling that I want to sneak around here first okay we have eyes on our first group if I had a sharpshooter this would be fucking fantastic alright get down there Alright, so that's this is great news because not only do we have constants to um, to sneak around, but we also have these battle scanners, which are going to be hella useful. Okay, still don't have eyes on. Okay, if I go there, they shouldn't be able to see each other, but I should still be able to. Oh. God damn it. Alright, someone's gonna have to shoot each other. Alright, well, let's open this up with a frag grenade. Ah, uh, damn it, I can't get. Wait, wait. Yes, let's try that. Worst case, I launch a second grenade, that'll completely wreck their cover. Now two grenades on one group seems like overkill, but uh, that's a stun lancer. You don't want you don't want to fuck around with stun lancers. Ah, uh, now I could grenade again. You know what? Fuck it. We need to expediate this contact. Ah, uh, unfortunately, that means the stun lancer is still alive. Can they get... Yes, he can climb and he can... Oh, uh, shit. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to wound that sectoid and set him up for an easy kill later on. And then I'm just going to shoot the fuck out of that stun lancer. And here's why stun lancers are bullshit. They operate exactly the same as your rangers with, with sword attacks. Which do a hell of a lot of damage. And... They get all up in your grill, which means that you kind of don't want to stay there anymore. The fuck do you mean? Uh... Okay, this is all going to hell. I'm going to overwatch on the off chance that that Lancer comes up first. Hopefully the Sectoid doesn't move, because if he eats the overwatch, it's going to be bad. Yeah, like I said, once a turn, they will shoot a civilian. And Bradford will come and bitch about it. Reliable as clockwork. Okay, that's actually a good thing. The sectoid ran away. He's going to get his buddies. But it means... Um, oh, don't tell me. He 
He did. Okay. Well, that just happened. And come on, set it off, set it off. Get him. That's the opposite of getting him. Okay, the good news is he dashed in there because he couldn't actually see anyone, so... Yep, that guy's fucked. Okay, he didn't actually... <sighs> there are times when... I love this game, but I hate this game so much. Ah. Uh, okay, you. Move on out and just... Just kill that fucker. Just annihilate him. Okay, could've gone worse. And that means that I can keep moving up while in concealment. Um... Hmm... I do believe yes. Time to let loose with another grenade. So the zombies we generally ignore. As per usual, because if we can take down the control insectoid. See, this is why having two grenadiers is fantastic, because you can just blow the fuck out of everyone without worrying too much. It's like, I should really res conserve a grenade. Wait, why the fuck would I bother about conserving a grenade? Now, yeah, no, that that would alert the enemies. I'm gonna stay in concealment for just that little bit longer. Okay, he doesn't have eyes on, which means that I can do a battle scanner. So there should be advent somewhere in that area. So now, battle scanners do a couple of things. First of all, they obviously reveal the area. But they also scan... Why is it coming up like that? Yeah, but they also legitimately um, scan everything in the area. So, like, for example, I'll, I'll spoil this right now. Chrysalids can burrow. They can hide underground. And they can unburrow and attack at the same time. It's... You, you need to be cautious as fuck around chrysalids. They are somehow even nastier. Okay, good. That was a double move. So our falls will be real simple. We'll just be machine gunning him in the face. Okay, that shouldn't be... Unfortunately, she is now revealed. But that's okay, because... Fuck you, sectoid. Makes it all worthwhile. Okay, now we can get the fuck in there. We need to keep being aggressive. We don't want to let them shoot any more civilians. Now that last kill came from there. So I'm going to put another... There we go. Another battle scanner down. And... That's all good. Because we know they're there. And I'm hoping there's nobody else. If we activate another mob, we could be fucked. Well, yeah, we got We just got to get in there. All right, fantastic. Okay. Right, so they're just continuing to pursue civilians. 
Okay, I don't... It's potential that there might be some more mechanics at play. Oh, or not. That is, honestly, that is the first time. Yeah, someone is working on a Shut the Hell Up Bradford mod. Yeah, we, we get it. Civilians are dying. It's terrible. All that kind of stuff. But, again, we get it. So, yeah, that's the first time I've seen them try and shoot two different civilians. Maybe because that missed? Maybe because the battle scanner fucked it up? I don't know. The good news is we can assume that area is clear. Because there's two there. There's two more back there. So if we move up to here, we should spot them again. And then put a rifle grenade to clean up their ass. Or they will scatter. Ah. <sighs> Another fine mess. Okay. Moving on target location. Alright, let's. We're going to do this. Alright. Constance needs to get her ass up there. Next turn, she's going to be able to do stuff. Um, and as for these guys. Hmm. They are just regular troopers. Alright, let's put them on Overwatch. And let's take a chance on this guy. Took a chance, didn't work out. It's okay, we're fine. We're still fine. Take another shot. I'll put another Overwatch on. And another civilian gonna die. Another sectoid's out there. That's fantastic. God damn it. Can we make it make a fuck? So maybe I should have just grenaded them. But the good news is, blast padding means he has armor which reduces the amount of damage. So, exceptionally useful. Okay, that was unfortunate. Shit. Alright, what to do now? Um... Yes, let's give this a try. It's not the best position, but we can recover. As we're about to right now. There goes number one. One comes after one. Number one. Two comes after one. When he gets me control back. Now I can either... Uh, That'll work. And I should have an easy flank on number two. That I do. Bitch. Alright, excellent. Now the problem is, I need to make sure that two more civilians don't die. It's really going to be tricky because... God damn it. Okay. Just to make sure he's going to reload. And I'm going to move you up. We've got one more turn where those guys can just run free. And then that's it. Okay. 
Okay, good. They patrolled into me, which means that... Which means they're going to waste their move. And that's it. Okay. Uh, that's not an officer. Okay. Let's get up there and grenade some bitches. Considering he's out of ammo. That's all he can do. Um, yeah, we'll focus on the sectoid. Oh, can I get a flank on this guy? I can. I guess. Hang on. Oh shit, buddy. Good copy. Moving on target. Yes. Uh okay, just destroy that wall. Taken care of. Oh, I love when this shit just comes together. And then do it, do it, do it, do it. Excellent. Target disabled. Wow, would you look at that? Oh. Oh. That's where he would oh shit. So I'm gonna spoil it right now, he's probably dead. Ah, oh, fuck. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. <sighs> he is probably dead. He's probably extremely dead. But I'm going to hedge my bets anyway. Hopefully the flashbang takes away enough of his movement. I want to do two things. One is remove enough of his movement that he hopefully... He's probably still going to be in range to, to swipe him. But the other one is hopefully it means that there's a greater chance of the swipe missing. That's what faceless do. So they do it all the time in retaliation missions and... Whiff. Or he's just going to... Wow, he really is disoriented. That would be threatening if you actually did something. Fucking idiot. Okay. Uh, fucking white background makes it hard to see where I can actually Confirmed. go to. Alright, so f those guys are called Faceless. They appear on all retaliation missions. And they can also show up on regular missions. Uh, I think primarily if there's a dark event for them. But I'm pretty sure they can also just show up in like th some of the more hot hot zones. Okay, he's just gonna Overwatch just in case he moves up on us. This is gonna be great. No, it really isn't great. But again, he's disoriented, so which means that he shouldn't be able to to attack me next turn. That is assuming he's still disoriented. Or maybe he's going to go after civilians. Oh. And wait, and they heal. Okay, I didn't know about that part. I, I, I didn't know that they could heal themselves. Remember what I said about him being dead? Yeah, now this time he probably is dead for real. Now, Ranger's sword abilities can miss. That's the reason why 
that's the balance between the sword and the shotgun. The sword does more damage, the shotgun is more or less guaranteed to hit. The sword always has that little bit of, of potential for fail failure. You know what, I'm gonna end this off properly. Good news is that uh, the missing chance also applies to um, enemy melee attacks. Menace one five status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission that was fucking lucky. So there you go. That's a retaliation mission. They're always a bunch of bullshit, but that one especially. If I'd had a sharpshooter to go along with. Um, with Constance, she could have just run around spotting everyone and then I could have just sniped the shit out of them. While at the same time rolling up with grenades. But no, that didn't go terrible. We do the caps lock trip and there you go, as soon as I press caps lock, it loads. That's a handy little trick to remember. The handy mission to show you how the game really throws in some bullshit. Yes. And we're going to go with Haywire because that is awesome. So good news is now that I have a sergeant, I can get a larger squad size. We got a whole bunch of loot. Hello, Commander. Commander, the ongoing stress and that's unfortunate. Can shake up even the best of our soldiers. As long as we keep them healthy, I'm sure they'll recover given time. Yeah, shaken. When they get shaken, it means that you need to take them on another mission. And as long as they're not wounded and they get a kill, then they'll get their, the will that they lost will come back, and they will also get a bonus. So at the moment, he's just on zero will, which is unfortunate. It means that he's going to be fucked over if someone tries to... Anything that can cause panic. So you want to be careful with shaken soldiers. But if you can unshake them, even better. All right, well, research is proceeding as planned, Commander. New orders, Commander. Quite honestly, I think that will do me for this. As far as I can tell, advanced technology, along with most of what we've seen going on in the city center, is safe. Yeah, I know. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep on playing. So I got this playthrough, and I have another one. I'm going to give this one a bit more of a try, fuck around with some things, and the other one's going to be more or less my proper playthrough. Uh, I'm going to, there's a couple of videos of stupid stuff happening, I'm going to do them, those ones without commentary. So this one has been my first look at the game, what I think about it, what I think about it is that it's fucking fantastic. It just, there's so many things, it's a little bit overwhelming at, the, at first, but if you've come from Long War, then no, this game's going to be simple for you. Long War added in just so much shit that it was insane. This game adds in a lot, but in a controlled way. Just gives you more option without overloading you too much. Admittedly there are a few traps, like you know, in the original XCOM it's like you want guns first. In this one you actually want armor first, not because it makes you less likely to die, or well, it helps, but because you get an extra item slot. That's why I've been that's why I've been trying to push for the armor, but it it does take a while to get off the ground. You need a lot of supplies, you need a lot of um uh, trooper corpses to actually build it. It takes a little bit. But no, overall, this game is fantastic. It's challenging without being too bullshit. Um, the whole thing about, you know, like 85% and you miss, the RNG just does that. It's it's trying to be true random. It's You're hedging your bets as much as you can, but at the end of the day, if you, if you roll a 1 on a 100% chance to... On a, if you go 99% and you roll a 1, that's just how it goes. You're hedging your bets against those kind of ones. And you don't just go, well, no, it should have been charged. No, no, what it is, is if it's 99%, it means that the difference between 85 and 99% is like, what happens if you roll a 10? Well, one's a success, one's a failure. That's what you're hedging against. But if you're unlucky as all hell and you get a 1, then you're just fucked. So no, I don't mind the RNG. 
Um, I don't find the game too bullshit. There's the occasional bit where it's just like, why did the game do that? Ah, oh, what was one that fucked me over before? There was one in my other playthrough. There was one thing that's just like, no, this is this is just complete horseshit. It might have had to do with like. Oh, there's one which um oh god damn it, I uh, I had a conceal ranger, and because concealment doesn't activate Overwatch, it um yeah my my little trap that I had set up to try and get out of a very bad situation, it it it, it didn't work. Um if that ov if my concealed guy had been unconcealed and had gone into Overwatch, it would have been fine. The fact that he wasn't, it all went bad. But again, I got that video, so I'll get it uploaded. That's how we get this one uploaded. And I should probably stop talking because nothing is really happening. So until next time, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll do another talking one of these because, I mean, I'm going to say it outright. If you want to see people playing it well and you want them to talk about the kind of shit that's going on, the decisions to make, uh, Beagle Rush. Beagle is, he's the best. It's just, he knows what he's doing. He's really charismatic. He's just, it's just all around fun to watch. So yeah, go watch Beagle, uh, watch some of mine, but don't expect me to talk because, well, I mean, you can see how well this is going now. And yeah, I will see you guys around later on. If you don't have XCOM, wait for it to get cheap and get it. Or even just get the original XCOM. That's in the um, Enemy Unknown, Enemy Within. They're going hella cheap, still a fantastic game, and it'll, it'll teach you a couple of things that are useful in XCOM 2. But XCOM 2 also changes a lot of stuff, so don't expect it to be exactly the same. It's... X2 at the moment is my game of the year, which, considering it's the start of the year, you know how well those go. Anyway, this is me, Max, and I will see you guys later on.